Hey guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around an Easy Hauler, 8.5 by 24 aluminum enclosed car hauler trailer. Shown here is the bullnose style front, gives it a nice sharp classic look. A few upgrades, not too many on this. The biggest single options on the other side, it'd be the full escape door. A lot of folks looking for that feature for getting classic cars in and out. Let's take a walk around the trailer, we'll show you all the features. So anything tandem axle this size is going to have a two and five sixteenth inch coupler. This one's no different. I uh, mean, it is an aluminum frame. Uh, they put a, like a zinc, I believe it's a zinc coated coupler on there. Matches the body style, looks good. Also got a similar in color zinc jack, top wind. Of course, uh, like most trailers nowadays, tandem axle, it's all gonna have a seven pin RV blade style. That is a dual prong connection. So if you do get one of those connectors bent, uh still get the uh the other connection uh pretty heavy duty set of chains for a uh car hauler typically we see something a little bit lighter so they go a little bit extra heavy there of course standard uh breakaway cable it does have triple tube tongue standard equipment uh, a lot of times you'll see an a-frame once in a while you'll see the the triple tube but this one does have that as standard equipment notice where it comes back to the front it's uh, headered up for some extra reinforcement. Uh, up front, a little bit different than a lot of your car haulers. You'll see uh, uh, self-tapping screws. Every once in a while, somebody gets a little bit aggressive on one, they'll pop a self-tapper, but these uh, are pop riveted. It's actually got a, a three inch bottom trim too, instead of a one, and then that trim is there to stay. You also notice they take time to miter the corners uh, instead of standard butt cut, and then, um, uh, the silicone uh, caulking is also uh, done a little bit nicer, neater. It is a full two-foot stone guard, not the uh, the lesser 16-inch or whatnot. It does have a finished cast corner and then your, uh, your anodized finish on your verticals. Uh, side flow-through vent, standard for ventilation. It's the nicer looking of the, uh, the vents. Notice it's also got a three-inch top trim, so you got three-inch top and bottom. This trailer's got an 030 silver frost exterior. Notice it's uh, screwless exterior. There's no screws going down the sides of the trailer. So it seems it's going to be a nice clean look. A lot of decal guys uh, certainly like this. Makes a lot cleaner job. Just looks a lot sharper even if you don't decal the trailer. So same thing uh, at the top of the trailer. As far as your trim goes, nice and clean. So biggest single option this has on it would be the full escape door shown here a lot of guys again hauling those classic cars just makes it a lot uh, nicer to get out traditionally you got about a six foot of fender uh, so this door is going to be roughly uh, eight foot seven to eight feet in width gives you plenty of room to get out typical escape door is going to be about four foot square so you've got a lot more access and also we'll show you in a second with removal fenders uh, you get a lot lower a uh, lot lower cars open uh, six lugs gonna be a 5200 pound axle so this has uh, the upgraded axle notice it's got aluminum wheel upgrade it's gonna have a 225 75 uh, r15 it's an eight ply radial tire load range D now one nice uh, thing when you go to the heavier 5200 pound axles you're also getting the larger 12 inch drums same drum that's going to be on your five six and seven k axles you got plenty of braking and stopping power so let's take a look at the hardware uh, a lot of times you'll get a coated steel hardware this is actually aluminum uh, that is something you don't see on every aluminum trailer so point that hardware difference out let me open up the full escape door for you Notice it's got gas shocks, came up smooth. Yeah, I just gave it a quick tug with one hand. So when you go to the removable fender, I'm sorry, when you go to the full escape door, you get the removable fender. Fairly simple to deploy. Now you can see whenever you take that fender off, and I'm not going to right now, can't do it very easily with one hand, uh, but your floor heights here, you're gonna have uh, probably seven inches left. And you can open almost any car door with seven inches of clearance. But this fender, uh, well, might be able to do it with one hand for you. So we 
should have put that in the advertisement. You can do it with one hand. But uh, fairly simple to take off. Again, you'll see here, you've got maybe seven inches or so of fender reveal left uh, after that fender comes off. Allows you to open that with pretty much any car door. Rear hardware is also aluminum. Fairly simple to open up and deploy. Uh, dual aluminum grab handles. Got four hinges at the back bottom. You've also got four bumpers at the top. And those are your oversized heavy duties. Uh, even little details before I get the door. Uh, slip joints from where it would wear. Nice little detail. Of course, uh, clear lens lights. So again, you got four of these heavy duty bumpers at the rear. They also give you an oversized uh, ramp flap extension and lagged in a little bit heavier than some that we see very heavy duty uh, hinge as well so again if you look around the industry this is done a little bit different um, normally you're gonna get about a one foot extension with a lot lighter hinge than that that extensions probably 18 inches or so maybe 20 so this has a beaver tail I'll take you underneath the trailer but it's actually a milled beaver tail it's not cut and spliced so your beaver tail starts there, so it mills the main frame of the trailer down uh, instead of cutting and, and splicing it back together. Four D-rings are standard equipment. This trailer, I believe, is going to be six foot eight inside height. Uh, typically, a car haul is going to be about six six. Got a sixteen on center roof stud standard. Put the breakaway battery inside the trailer. Also, a junction box of wiring. Put the tread plate for your finished corners, gives it a nice clean look. Got a 16 on center wall post with a uh, white vinyl wall. Two dome lights for standard equipment. They're tied to a little bit nicer wall switch. Sometimes you get the, uh, the ones that have been in them for a long time. It's a newer style switch. Nice clean look. It's got the RV style door. If you're not familiar with the RV style door, you can lock them from the outside. You can also I uh, use a deadbolt from the inside, get two keys provided uh, tied to the, uh, the back of the door there. So you got an aluminum fender on uh, both sides. Of course, the uh, passenger side would not be removable. Driver's side, again, on this one uh, is removable. Uh, between fenders, you're going to be about 81, 81 and a half inches. With the fenders off, you're going to, well, with the driver's side fender off, you gotta pick up another two and a half or so inches. So theoretically, you could load a piece of equipment, car, et cetera, that's gonna be about um, 84 inches, give or take. Now just say, gusset your header, the frame. Let's go underneath the trailer now. Rear door header. So underneath I wanted to show you where it's milled down. You can probably see a little bit better on the far side. So rather than being cut and spliced on that cross member, it's all milled down. Notice these are I-beam cross members as well, uh, not tube angle or channel. So when they call this a 24, on a V-nose, it would be a 24 to the V, or 24 to the square box, and then your V on top of that. On a flat nose, it's gonna be 24 foot, six full sheets of the, uh, the aluminum on the outside. Got a RV style side door. Again, we said you can lock either one of the two latches. The uh, door assembly has an aluminum hold back you see a hold back a lot of times they're gonna be plastic but that one is aluminum and come back up front you've got the uh, triple tube tongue another thing I didn't mention they uh, they had her off the tongue there so no acid rain and salt and that get inside and lay in there it's also got a caster wheel at the bottom of the jack that way if you need to if you're on flat level surface uh, you might be able to roll it around a little bit big trailer for that but you might be able to push it around a little bit 
So again, this is an eight and a half by 24. We do, we do also stock this trailer in other sizes. A 20 foot's quite common, uh, but the 24 uh, does seem to be the size uh, choice of preference with the full escape door. It gives you enough room. If you want to put cabinets or something up front, you have room enough to do that. This trailer's gonna come in about 2,500 pounds empty. Uh, this with the 5,200 pound axles is gonna give you about 7,500 pounds of legal payload. And then you're also gonna pick up some tongue weight uh, on top of that. Uh, this trailer, as mentioned, is silver frost. We also bring this in in other colors, white, black, charcoal, um, silver, and then there's other uh, available colors that may be an upcharge. This trailer's also got a one piece aluminum roof. We couldn't see it from the inside. Uh, but it does have a one-piece roof. Of course, all LED lights. It says available in a 7,000-pound GVW if you want. Uh, sometimes in a 7K, we'll do them a little bit lighter. 24-footer, uh, typically, we're going to bring in in a 5,200-pound axle, 10K GVW. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a shout. 717-220-4220. Thank you.